Welcome to our sixth video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we explain the function and working of each sensor in detail. Today in this beginner's guide, we will explain in detail the intake air temperature sensor. It's also called IAT sensor. We will explain how it works, what it does and its importance in your vehicle. We will also look at symptoms of a faulty sensor, what happens when it goes bad and if it's safe to continue driving with a faulty sensor. Be sure to check out the links in the description for other videos in this series. Any questions feel free to ask. Let's get started. What is an intake air temperature sensor or an IAT sensor? The intake air temperature sensor is a small but crucial part of the vehicle's engine management system. It measures the temperature of the air entering the engine. The engine control unit ECU uses this information to adjust the air fuel mixture for optimal performance and fuel efficiency. How does the IAT sensor work internally? The IAT sensor works by using a thermistor, a component that changes its resistance based on temperature. As the intake air temperature changes, the resistance in the thermistor changes, sending a signal to the ECU. The ECU reads this signal and adjusts engine parameters like fuel injection, timing and air fuel ratio to ensure the engine runs smoothly. How does the IAT sensor communicate with the ECU? The IAT sensor sends electrical signals to the ECU. When the air is cold, the sensor's resistance is high which lowers the voltage sent to the ECU. When the air is hot, the resistance decreases and a high voltage is sent to the ECU based on this signal. The ECU adjusts the air fuel mixture for efficient combustion. Is the IAT sensor the same as the MAF sensor? No, the IAT sensor and the MAF mass airflow sensors are different. Though they both play a role in engine performance, the IAT measures air temperature while the MAF measures the amount of air flowing into the engine. Sometimes they are combined into one unit but they perform distinct functions. Where is the IAT sensor located? The IAT sensor is typically located near the air intake manifold or in the air filter housing. It is placed in the path of the incoming air to get an accurate temperature reading. What happens when the IAT sensor goes bad? When the IAT sensor goes bad, it sends incorrect information to the ECU. The ECU may think the air is colder or hotter than it actually is leading to improper air fuel mixture. This can result in poor engine performance, increased emissions and decreased fuel efficiency. What are the symptoms of a faulty IAT sensor? Poor engine performance, rough idling or misfiring, decreased fuel efficiency, black smoke from the exhaust, difficulty starting the engine, check engine lights comes on. Can you drive with a bad IAT sensor? Yes, you can drive with a faulty IAT sensor, but it is not recommended. Driving with a bad sensor can lead to poor engine performance and reduced fuel efficiency. It may also cause long-term damage to the engine if the air fuel mixture is consistently incorrect. What happens if you unplug the IAT sensor? Unplugging the IAT sensor will cause the ECU to receive no temperature data, which may force the vehicle into limb mode. In limb mode, the engine runs in a reduced power state to protect itself from potential damage. What causes the IAT sensor to go bad? Several factors can cause the IAT sensor to fail. Exposure to extreme heat or cold, dirt and debris buildup, electrical issues such as broken wires or poor connections, general wear and tear over time. Can you clean the IAT sensor? Yes, in some cases you can clean the IAT sensor if it's dirty. Use an appropriate sensor cleaner to remove any dust or debris. However, cleaning might not fix it if the sensor is already damaged or faulty. Can a broken IAT sensor damage your engine? A broken IAT sensor won't directly damage your engine, but the incorrect air fuel mixture can cause poor performance and increased emissions leading to potential long-term engine problems. How much does it cost to replace the IAT sensor? The cost of replacing an IAT sensor typically ranges from $50 to $150 including parts and labor. The price may vary depending on your vehicle's make and model. Is it hard to replace an IAT sensor? Replacing an IAT sensor is usually a simple task that can be done in under an hour. For most vehicles, it involves unplugging the sensor, removing it and installing a new one in its place. However, if you are not comfortable working with your car parts, it's best to have a professional do the replacement. In summary, the IAT sensor plays an important role in engine performance by providing ECU with accurate air temperature data. A faulty sensor can lead to poor engine performance, so it's essential to recognize the symptoms and get it replaced if needed. 
always consult a professional if you're unsure about any repair or replacement and we hope this video has helped you understand more about the intake air temperature sensor and its importance in your vehicle if you have any more questions feel free to drop them in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe for more technical tips our new video on the series will be on crankshaft position sensor thanks for watching